Hello everyone. Last week my government had the privilege of releasing our speech from the throne. This speech is not only about this year, it's about future generations. Our government believes in island families, strengthening our economy and way of life. And this speech lays out a platform for that to happen. Here are some of the highlights of the speech. We are creating what's called the PEI Energy Accord. Once in effect in March, it means that your electricity rates will be reduced by 14% and will remain frozen until the spring of 2013. This will be a huge savings for everyone, including families, small business, and large exporters. Islanders will save $25 million in electricity bills next year compared to this year. We're also working hard to make PEI the world leader in the integration of wind power to be truly sustainable. People in their final stages of life deserve to be in a place where they feel safe and comforted. It is for that reason we are building a brand new palliative care center. This new facility will also open up more spaces and hospitals for those requiring acute care. As a government, we also believe in creating the best possible education system. We believe that through education, we can strengthen our economy and strengthen our way of life here in Prince Edward Island. This past year, we have opened brand new schools, expanded wings and others, and created new post-secondary programs as well. I am proud of the 1,400 five-year-olds who start a full-day kindergarten this year, and 1,500 of our youngest children who entered the newly created Early Years Centers. Building on that foundation, an additional 14 Early Years Centers will be established to complement the 36 centers already up and running. As a government, we are committed to looking after our province's most vulnerable, low-income islanders. And so starting in April, the clawback of the National Child Benefit for Families and Social Assistance will end. We will also start work on a social action plan, which will explore ways of reducing poverty and removing barriers to employment. If you visit the website www.gov.pe.ca, you can read the entire speech from the throne. For those not interested in reading the entire speech but want to find out more about the highlights, please visit my Facebook page. Thank you for watching today.